everyone, it's Lara from OurOilyHouse.com and today I want to show you how to make a homemade lotion bar. These lotion bars are really similar to the whipped body butter recipe that I shared here on the YouTube channel several months ago by, I'm using a lot of the same ingredients, but the only difference is, is we're gonna use some beeswax and we also obviously aren't going to whip it. And with the beeswax, it's going to make them hold their shape. We're going to put them into these molds and then you will be able to have a lotion bar rather than a tub of whipped body butter. I've made several things here on the YouTube channel with beeswax and I've talked about how hard it is to get out of dishes once it is melted and I suggest using a pitcher or maybe an old coffee tin or maybe a specific mason jar that you have that is just for your beeswax projects because it is going to be hard to get out. Today I am just using a regular bowl and so I will have fun washing this whenever this is done. You can keep a mason jar or some type of metal container and that can just be your DIY project anytime you're using beeswax and then you don't have to worry about rinsing it out after you make your project. You are going to need a double boiler for this and so I am making my own double boiler because I don't have one and it's super simple. You just place a bowl over top of a pot of water. For this recipe, we are going to use equal parts of coconut oil, cocoa butter, and beeswax. I am doing this with one cup of each here today. And then we are going to add in some essential oils after the ingredients are all melted. Okay, so we are just going to pour all of these ingredients here inside of a double boiler. And the cocoa butter makes this smell amazing and have a nice chocolate smell to it. And you can use shea butter instead of cocoa butter, or you can use a combination of the two. Okay, now I am just going to put these ingredients over medium heat until everything is melted. the ingredients are all melted we are going to remove it from the heat like I just did we are going to allow the mixture to cool slightly before adding in the essential oils because if you add them in when it's piping hot they are going to evaporate and lose some of those therapeutic benefits but obviously we don't want it to cool completely because we don't want it to harden in the bowl here let's talk about the different essential oils that you can add into your homemade lotion bars the first one I have here is a new oil to me it's called yarrow palm and it is a blend of yarrow and pomegranate seed oil and this blend is amazing for the skin it has a nice bright blue color and this is one that would be awesome to add into your lotion bar because of the many benefits that it has for the skin I also have here some lavender because lavender is just going to smell amazing. It's a very soothing, calming oil. It's nice for relaxing. This would be a great oil to add to this lotion bar if you plan on using it on your kids. And also if you're planning on using your lotion before bedtime to kind of help soothe and relax the body. A, another oil that I have here is my peppermint oil. And with that cocoa butter, the peppermint smells amazing with that kind of like a mint chocolate chocolate and peppermint oil has a nice cooling effect on the body. If you add in peppermint, it's going to make this lotion bar work really well for any types of aches and discomforts or joint issues. And so that's another great oil to add into your lotion bar. And then I have here just a blend that doTERRA makes called Holiday Joy. And this is their holiday blend. It just smells like Christmas. And since it's close to Christmas time, if you added in some Christmas essential oils, that's going to make these lotion bars a really nice Christmas gift for somebody. So those are a few different options that you can do. With this amount of lotion, you're gonna wanna do about 15 to 30 drops of essential oil, depending on how strong you want it to be. And I am going to use my Holiday Joy today because like I said, it's close to Christmas. And I am thinking that I might gift some of these to some people on my list. 
after you have your essential oils added in, we're just going to give it a light stir. The essential oils well combined into all the liquid. And then we are just going to pour this into some type of either tin storage container or into a mold like this. And so I'm just going to use a one fourth of a cup here and start pouring them in. And then we are going to allow this mixture to completely harden in our silicone molds before we pop them out. I'm just gonna let them sit here overnight to make sure they completely harden. You can put them in the refrigerator or even the freezer to speed this process up. Once they are completely hardened, you can pop them out of the silicone mold and then you can store them in a glass mason jar or any type of airtight container. You're gonna wanna store these in a cool place because there is some coconut oil in there and coconut oil only solidifies under 76 degrees. So if you are in a warmer place, you can store them in the refrigerator so they don't melt. When you go to use them and you apply them onto your warm skin, they are going to melt slightly and then you're just going to massage it in. And this makes a really nice lotion bar for you, your kids or anybody on your Christmas list as well or a Mother's Day present or any type of gift. And if you are using these for a gift, you can get creative and you, and you can buy little heart-shaped silicone molds if you want to make these for someone for Valentine's Day. Or you can find molds that have writing on them to say happy birthday. You can find basically a silicone mold for anything out on the internet. I got these on Amazon and I'll link them in the description below. Head over to the blog for a free printable label and recipe card. And if you're curious about getting essential oils into your home or you want more essential oil education. I have a free online class and there's a link for that in the description below. And if this is your first time by my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home, health, and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.